Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Girl with the Scalpel. This is Dr. Meg. I am here to fulfill your dream to practice as a dentist in the United States of America. And today I have come up with another video that is how to practice as a foreign trained dentist in Texas. Texas, which is also known as the Lone Star State. And you know it's the official name of Texas. And why is that? Because this nickname signifies its previous status as an independent state and also serves as a reminder of the struggle that they fought for their independence. This beautiful state is surrounded by many of the Mexican states as well as with the beautiful states of US such as the New Mexico and Louisiana and even Oklahoma. So who doesn't want to live here in this beautiful Texas. And let me tell you a very interesting fact here for all my foreign train dentists and all those who are currently in the Southeast Asian countries and other parts of the world and want to be in the US. Texas could be the place for you because not only it is so welcoming but its rules are not that stringent. In fact, there are two ways by which you can practice in Texas with your foreign degrees. Just a tad bit of your training and then you can practice here. Right? So, before diving in into today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And guys, please do comment below. Please give me your feedback and also let me know what all content you want to watch and what all information. You can also follow me on my Instagram page at this girl with the scalpel. We can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation there. You can DM me. You can even email me. So with this, let's get started with today's video. So let's first know what are the general requirements. Now these general requirements will include a sum up of what all is required. This is just the basic and then we will go further on that what, what all documents are required here. Right, so the first general requirements are that all the applicants should be at least 21 years of age and should have a more good moral character. Then all the applicants must submit. There are certain documents which are needed, which includes a complete and a notarized application for Texas, then application fee, then supporting documents, and the jurisprudence assessment for initial licensure completion certificates. So, guys, this jurisprudence assessment. Now this happens for each of the states in the US mostly which I have seen and with this you need uh, to fill up the form and mostly it is an open book exam and uh, you can easily get through this so it's not an issue right so the license for foreign training now this is the catch and the topic for today so how can you do that now for this you need a dental degree from your home country that is a foreign dental degree and then second is you have to complete a speciality training which has to be accredited by CODA. This is a speciality training which you can go through. Again a small catch here is the AGEDs or the GPRs are not acceptable. For this state you need specialty. You, know, you can do your specialty in orthodontics, periodontics, pediatrics, dentistry and Mind you, here's a small tip which I would like to give. So there is an upcoming branch for uh, dental residency that is the orofacial pain and the geriatric dentistry. You guys can check about these residency programs on the Adia Pass website, check on the requirements. There is also a thing that you might even not require INBDEs to appear or to get selected into these programs. So you can always check on the Adia Pass, you can visit the websites of the dedicated schools and then get all the information about these two residencies. Mind you, these two residencies might be like a blessing in disguise for you. But you can study these residencies and you can apply on their speciality board, you can clear that speciality and then you can practice as a specialist dentist in Texas, right? So this is an excellent route for all those who are thinking about getting into a residency who cannot afford for an advanced industry program because guys it is too costly. I know the pain and it becomes very difficult. Right so you can go in for a residency programs, select your residency and this option is also for those who are already done 
their speciality in their home country they had been practicing as a specialist for 4 years 5 years 10 years down the line right they can come to us they can study their speciality again get into that uh, residence uh, mode study clear your board exams which would be quite easier for you if you have already done your speciality and then practice in the state right so this is an excellent opportunity so what are the next steps after you have done your speciality so what are the documents which are required before the documents there are clinical exams i will be shortly be coming up with the videos regarding these clinical exams so guys what happens is if you have not done your dds or dmd for us or if you need to practice in some other state and, and you have done your dds or dmd in the advanced standing program you have to appear for your clinical exams right so these clinical exams are basically wreb crdts nerb and srta we will be discussing about these board exams what are the significance of these clinical specialty exams but by getting your foreign degree getting your specialty and then giving this clinical exams will you know tick mark all the requirements of the checklist which are required to appear for your dental licensing in the texas right so these exams are of equal importance especially for the foreign student now the other prerequisites on the steps are that is you need a dental license application an application fee whenever you are applying for the texas board and copies of the documents which show your date of birth that this could be your birth certificate then a notarized or all certified copy of your diploma or the dental degree then proof of your nvdes part 1 part 2 if you have at all already given a part 1 or a part 2 mind you guys part 2 can be given and the deadline has been extended till the december of 2022 you can still appear you still have 5 months to go or for the inbdes which is the newer trend then proof of the completion of the ada approved specialty program this will be given by a program director then the proof of the completion of the licensing exam which i just spoke about then your cpr current registrations and then jurisprudence examination which has to be given which is more of like a cakewalk for you because it's mostly an open book exam so what if if you do not have a specialty training what if if you do not want to be a specialist what if if you if you uh, just want to be a general dentist and just do your gen general dentistry so the solution my friends is just the advanced standing programs now these are just the ai pd programs or the advanced standing programs for the international dentists where you are placed in the third year or the second year of your dmd or the dds you complete your uh, preclinicals uh, in six months and then you enter into the third year of your uh, dental school you study with the those who had been studying from first year the regular batches and the uh, and then you study for two years then after you know passing your exams you go and get the clinical speciality exams sorry the clinical exams which i just spoke about like the nerb or wreb you can appear for those exams then you have to get all the checklist and then you can apply for a license so for practicing in texas either you can do your advanced standing program and if you're not able to do that maybe it's money constraints or cost constraints or any other issues you can always go in for specialties there are so many specialties which are there you just guys you just have to open up the diapas website you have to just check for all the programs you just have to know get to know all the prerequisites there are many schools which offer the f1 sponsorship the f1 sponsorship is basically if you have a b1 b2 visa these schools actually can accept you and help you out with your f1 applications f1 sponsorship visa is for those who want to study in the us and post study you get enough time to secure a job position you can secure a job you can practice there as a license you know speci specialist in the texas and after doing that practice for three years four years and five years there are many states which allow practicing by the rule of the reciprocity that is if you have practiced in one state of the united states for three years four years five years you can apply to other states as well so it is not that difficult guys you just need to do your research you just need to study about each and every program and then you will get to what is needed for you right so just last one thing before we end today's video once you choose hope 
anything is possible so guys hope is just everything and with hope i would say your research it is very important maybe you are just right around the corner you just need a few steps to take in to achieve your goals right so this brings me to the end of today's video again guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel click on the bell icon do comment and let me know what all content you want to watch and whether you are liking the content or not so till the next time bye bye for today